For this video, I'll discuss on SSS Similarity Theory. SSS Similarity Theorem states that two triangles are similar if their corresponding sides are proportional. Meaning of proportional is that if you're going to have the ratio of the corresponding sides, all of the three corresponding sides should be equal. So in this figure, based on the markings, we can say that AB corresponds to DE. This should be equal to BC and over EF. And this should be equal to AC over DF. So if these three ratios are equal, then we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Okay, let's have examples here. Number one, prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. So for ABC, AB is 3, BC is 4, AC is 5. For triangle XYZ, XY is 9, ZY is 12, and XZ is 15. So to prove this one, what we're going to do is we're going to have the ratio of each corresponding sides and determine if they are equal or proportional. If they are proportional, then we can say that the two triangles are similar. So, we're going to have AB. Corresponding side for AB is XY. Is it equal to BC? Corresponding side for BC is YZ. And is it equal to AC over XZ? So, given that AB is 3, so 3 over XY is 9. Then, BC is 4. YZ is 12. Then, AC is 5. XZ is 15. So, if we're going to simplify these fractions here, 3 over 9, this is 1 third. 4 over 12 is also 1 third. 5 over 15 is also 1 third. So all of these 3 is equal to 1 third. Now since these 3 corresponding sides is equal to 1 third, meaning they are proportional, so we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. This is using the SSS similarity theory. Number two, given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, find BC and DF. So based on the given, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, so we can say that AB corresponds to DE, then BC corresponds to EF and AC corresponds to DF. Now substituting the given here, AB is 9. Now DE is 6. BC is 4A minus 1. Then EF is 10. Then AC is 18. And DF is B. So what we're going to do first is we're going to solve this one to find the value of 4A minus 1. So if we're going to cross multiply this one, we can have... 9 times 10 is 90, cos 6 times 4a minus 1, then this is 90, this is 24a minus 6, then
this will become 90 plus 6 is 96 equals 24a then divide both sides by 24 a here will be equal to 4 now if a is 4 here we can have 4 times 4 16 minus 1 is 15 so we can have bc equals 15 now since 9 over 6 is equal to 18 over b you can just have solve or we can just use this one so 9 over 6 equals 18 over b cross multiply this will be 9b plus 18 times 6 divide both sides by 9 b is equal to 18 times 6 over 9 then cancel this will be 2 this will be 1 so 2 times 6 is equal to 12 so B here is equal to 12, meaning DF is equal to 12. So I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about this topic, please comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.